Welcome back to another video and really appreciate you clicking in. Listen, I posted something on my on our community page um, about a few hours ago before this um, video that you're watching here now. Um, and it basically was um, it was like from a news feed on on Twitter where Denzel Washington was reported as saying that he in his upcoming movie Gladiator 2 that he had a scene where he actually kissed another man in the mouth. Right. And so people, when I posted this, I didn't post a link to the video or anything like that. I just posted it and kept it moving. You know, I, you know, I don't think I got to like give you a ton of links. I mean, in other words, look it up yourself if you think I'm lying, you know, but the responses I was getting is people were thinking that I was making it up. So when even went as far as saying, we're not going to slander Denzel Washington. And then I'm like, I'm just repeating what he's, I'm just posting what he posted, you know? And so the responses were really interesting. And so I went through and I posted the link so people can see for themselves. And so for you, I'm going to show you the clip where he's actually saying that, which is right here. It was posted on, he did an interview with, um, looks like gaiety gaiety. That's, you know, I guess you know what that channel is about. And yeah, he, this is part of his um, whole thing going out. You know how they do the um, media junkets where they go out and they, you know, are advertising a movie and promo in the movie. And this is him on gaiety talking about his scene. So let's take a listen to what he had to say. And your character makes a few remarks throughout the film about having a relationship with other men in the film. So I wanted to ask how, how gay is the Roman Empire? the entire empire or or the, i what? actually kissed the man in the film but they took it they, they cut out they, they i think they got chicken i, I, I was kissed. going to ask because i just heard about the paul and pedro forehead kiss that apparently got cut from the movie oh, I, i'm not sure about that one but oh. yeah I, I i kissed the guy full on the lips and they i guess they weren't ready for that yet so. oh man well i, I killed him about five minutes later but <laughs> i mean yeah. it's gladiator it's yeah, gladiator the kiss of death and we i know we can't say a lot about what goes on in the film but there is a pro it, that's that's pretty much it right there so that you can watch the whole thing is on the gaiety channel then and listen first of all number one i don't like i've always said listen people gonna be people you know what i mean i'm not like this ain't high school where i'm like ooh, look he gay he gay. i don't care i don't i don't lose any sleep over that you know, but the reason why I wanted to just go ahead and just do this video is because of the fact that I was just getting based on the comments, you know, that people just don't want to believe certain things. They just don't want to believe it. It's Hollywood, y'all. This is Hollywood. OK, Hollywood, if you're going to make it at certain heights, there are certain things that you're going to have to do. If you want certain parts, if you want certain positions in Hollywood, there's certain things you're going to have to do. I remember years ago, this is quite some years ago. We were living, we lived with well, my family. We lived in LA in, in LA area. Um, there were Christians. We, there was a church that we were attending at that time. And it was a bunch of younger people who were, you know, trying to get into Hollywood or some people who actually had connections in Hollywood. And they were talking about, Hey, I'm, we're going to go, you will be surprised and amazed at how many Christians are in Hollywood, you know, before every scene they get together and they pray and we have Bible study in Hollywood and stuff. And these are now some of these people I'm mentioning are people who were actually in the Hollywood arena. You know what I mean? And they were just going on. They were saying, yes, God is doing, it's a revival. There's a full revival in Hollywood. See, people think that Hollywood is evil and all of that, but no, you have Christians, they have Bible studies and, you know, we're, we're singing praise and worship and we're speaking in tongues and, you know, all of this stuff, right? Folks, it's Hollywood, okay? I'm sure they got all of that and then some, but at the end of the day, it's Hollywood and it doesn't matter what actor or actress or whatever at the end of the day, it's Hollywood. And if you're going to make it into the system, there's certain things you're going to do now for my history buffs in the house. Like I'm one, I understand the assignment that he was assigned. As far as his movie is concerned, it's a period movie. He's, he's portraying a certain um, character 
in Rome. Okay, Rome and Greece, as you know, you know, these two ancient empires, they were very open to homosexuality. In fact, that's what we're talking about now on our other channel, Long Form History, on the history of um, LGBT in the black church. We're talking about that. And yes, we had to go all the way back to ancient Greece. And then we're going to fast forward it to, to, to modern days, but that was ancient Greece, but Rome is really no different. You know what I mean? So if you're going to do a movie like this and you got Denzel in it, it's going to be historic. They're going to try to get it as historically accurate as they can. I think what's very surprising to people is that this is the same person who years ago when he was in the movie starring opposite of Julia Roberts, who, you know, is very white. Um, he it was a movie called Pelican Brief. And in that movie, he made, you know, he was being interviewed and well, not in the movie, but um, he was being interviewed about the movie. And he mentioned the fact that um, there was a scene that was originally written in the script where he and Julia Roberts was supposed to have a romantic, you know, um, event. I'll just put it that way. But he turned it down. He said that he didn't want to do it because he felt that it would offend his black female um, fans. And so it wasn't just black females, but I think black people, period, you know, at that time upon hearing that they, you know, had that much more respect because they were like, OK, this is a black man that has drawn the line when it comes to certain things in Hollywood. He's not going to compromise when it comes to keeping it black, you know, that kind of thing. Right. Well, apparently, you know, he you know, when it comes to putting his lips on a white woman, of course, that's a bridge too far. But putting your lips on another man, well, I guess he's open to that. That's his choice. That's him. But this is really about you. This video right here is that you're going to have to wake up. You're going to have to realize that you got to stop looking at these people on the screen. Hey, even this screen right here that you're looking at right now. Now, I will. I can only tell you. I don't get down like that, okay? I don't do things like that. What I say, you know, on this microphone and what you see on this screen is pretty much me. You know what I mean? I ain't got really nothing to hide or anything like that. I mean, I'm going to share you all my personal business and what we, you know, all this stuff here. You know, no, who does that? You know, well, apparently we live in a day right now where people do, but I ain't going to show you. Okay, y'all, I'm in the bathroom right now. Come with me as I drop a load. You know, I ain't going to do that. But, you know, but what I'm saying is you have to have in this time that we're in right now, you you're going to have to understand that a lot of these people that used you, you would hold up as some kind of whatever. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of these people, if they're in in the Hollywood system, they they have compromised. They've had to compromise in certain areas in order to get to where they're going. And it's no different in the church. We're talking about Hollywood, but the church is no different. That's why we're doing our series. You think these preachers and these gospel singers and all that, you think they made it to their point because of the anointing? No. They make it there because there are certain things, there are certain compromises they're going to have to make in order to get there. And Denzel Washington is no different. I mean, how about Angela Bassett, for example? You know, there's a, um, a video that I found here, Angela Bass Bassett. You know, her and her husband, they're in the church and they're just getting down like this right here. Um, you can see them, just the anointing. Look at them, they get getting... Judah, 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 ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I sense the anointing. Okay, now let's go here. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. This is, An yeah, this is Angela Bassett here. Yeah, this is Angela Bassett, the Angela Bassett, the same one. She was um, co-starring with uh, Lady Gaga in the series um, American Gods. Yeah, she had a full scene uh, with Lady Gaga. And you can look it up and, you know, I'm trying to check all that out. It was just, oh, my God. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, what in the world? And so people, you know, you got people that will see this and will just kind of wipe, you know, and say, well, hey, listen, they're just playing a part. You know, come on now. You know, it, 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 they're just playing a part. That's all they're doing. You know, it's not real life. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. OK, there is no way in the world. I'm going to say as a man, there is no way in the world you are going to have me playing a part 
with a beautiful woman. And he said, okay, now, Dwayne, what we need you to do is we need to take all your clothes off. She going to have her uh, uh, she gonna have her clothes off too, and y'all gonna get in the bed, and y'all gonna be talking a little bit, and then you know, then you're gonna get on down. Something gonna rise, okay? I'm just, can I say it? Anything? I'm just. You think the anointing gonna keep things down? I, I'm just saying. Some of y'all gonna have to wake up and realize that, and so that's why you have these marriages that are breaking up left and right in Hollywood. I mean, it it happens because again. These people, again, they put themselves in these positions and things happen. You understand what I'm saying? And so I'm not co-signing on this at all. I'm just trying to get you to see that, listen, you're going to have to wake up and you're going to have to stop looking at these people as if they're just like, you know, above it all or whatever. If they are Hollywood, even in the world of politics, I say the same thing to people, you know, I would say the same thing about the people who were just so 100% into Kamala and then she's this and oh, she has such a beautiful family. She really does. When you look into her brown Indian eyes, you can see the care that she has for black people and all of this stuff. And, um, you know, people just imagine whatever they want to imagine about these people. Or well, same thing with Trump. I'll say the same thing about conservatives too. Oh, Trump, he just really cares about us. He's really there doing it for the people. He really cares. You know, when Trump, before he goes to bed, he's holding the Bible and he's praying for all of us, y'all. It's God's man in the house. Listen, listen, you got to get off of this. You got to get off of this. You got to get out and you're going to have to wake up because all of these people that you see that this system promotes, these are people that you shouldn't follow. Don't follow these people. Don't follow them. Now, they will, they tell you just enough to lure you in a little bit. But at the end of the day, you know, it's what it is. You understand what I'm saying? And um, they're going to do whatever they got, need to do. It's just what it is. So don't ever look to people, you know, when it comes to um, um, character. You know, it was like, uh, what was the, uh, it was an actor. I can't think of his name right now, but. It was one of these actors that was um, out here, you know, bashing black men, saying it was a black man that was saying that, you know, black men, you know, who don't vote for Kamala, you know, you are a misogynist. You just hate women and all this stuff. I mean, he was going on and on and on about this. And I was like, dude, hold on. You literally just walked off the set of a film where you were married to a black woman and you shot and killed her. And so the reason why I bring that up is this, is that you had no second thoughts about that. But if someone were to come up to you and say, OK, we need you to play a role where you're going to paint your face completely black. We're going to put some the biggest red lips on you. We want you to make your eyes real big. We want you to hunch your back and we want you to just go all throughout the whole movie. You just ooh, 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 ooh. that's what you're doing. Now, would you do that? We're going to give you a million dollars. Would you do that? Yeah, he probably will say no to that. Why? Because he has standards on certain things. But he certainly didn't have standards when it came to shooting down the, the, the black woman in that movie. My point is, is that these people can be bought. Make sure you're not one of them. OK, make sure you're not one of them. And you cannot be one of those that buys in to this nonsense, thinking that these different actors and actresses and all of that, that they have some kind of standard. Their standard is green. OK, you have to be a person of character. OK, and, and the only one that can model that out is you. You understand what I'm saying? Not Denzel, not anybody else. You. You understand what I'm saying? Denzel is Denzel. This ain't me. And I know some people are going to say, oh, you just bashing him. Denzel is an actor. What I'm telling people is do not look to him or any other actor or actress as some kind of barometer for character. Don't look to them. That starts at home with you. That's where that begins. All this other stuff that you see out here, it is what it is, y'all. Listen, that's it. That's all. I just wanted to do this video. I wasn't even planning on doing this video, but I had so many comments of people thinking that I was making it up. I said, all right, you look it up yourself. You know, I, why are you surprised? <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, you guys take care and I'll see you again soon.